Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Palia. Here on Unexpectedly Random Live. Hope everyone's doing wonderful on this today evening. Um, it is currently Saturday and we need some music. Or some game audio at the very least. There it is. For those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here every day at roughly 7 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you follow us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup. We also have a Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and the social media platform formerly known as Twitter. Check us out over there. The first two are the best places for updates. Everything else is kind of updated when it happens. Otherwise, let's get rolling. I think we still have some activities to progress on here during the um, Luna New Year celebration. That is what we've been working our way through on here. Hopefully we don't have robot voice issues and all of that fun stuff, but if we do, we'll deal with it when it happens. All right. Let's start off with some watering. Make sure everything is good to go since it is night time. I believe 6 a.m. is the growth take, so. I think I toyed with the idea of not planting stuff back in these uh, spots. These grow very well if they got weeds in them. So I could kind of revamp the layout. Because if I can get, get it better set up so it's not, uh, not running out of water, stuff will stay, or stuff will grow faster overall. It's like when I'm offline or when we're, you know, away adventuring around the world here we won't we won't be losing growth time if it's got if it's got water retention so that's the thing to consider okay we will work on collecting all of them Collecting our seeds. Then the peppers. I think. Nothing going in there. Okay. Do we have much for peppers? We do have quite a few spicy peppers. What else am I missing for the... Oh, it was the star tier Mujin meat. Um, ooh, Phoenix Fire Relleno. Interesting. This one. We're missing star corn. Not to be confused with a corn star. Oh, that's that's so weird. Slurp. I'm not a bad slime. I never said I was a good slime either, but... <laughs> oh, we also need some star-grade spice sprouts. We do have enough for one round there. Hmm. So do we go over to Bahari Bay and hope we can get uh, some, uh, some uh, stuff? I 
and also do we have any seeds we can sell? Potato seeds, we need to use the uh, that lucky coin. Oh, we had more gold than that, but maybe we spent it on something. <laughs> Some tomato. Everything else we're kind of lowish on. So we'll take those. We'll go into town. Oh, we need to put down our. Wait, we have some notices. Sent you a gift. And we sent you a gift. Thank you. Singularity 6. Lucky envelops. All right, let's put this lamp post down. Where? Where do? Where do? Where do lamp post go? I have that one there. Maybe we'll put this one over here by the uh, by the tent. Oh, the tent awning is in the way. That looks nice. And then the bench. Ooh, we could put the bench underneath it. Both lights pointed this way over the... Yeah. So then it's like extra seating here for visitors. Okay. We need to find some food. Here at Soup. We have mail. From Shane. We got another ribbon. We can make two witches. And our corn ready. Sweet. It's, it's corn. A big lump of knobs, it has a juice. <laughs> Okay, so we'll take this, and this, and this, and this. Stop it. Got some more peppers.
Oh, and a bunch more corn. So now we just need uh, spice sprouts. Wasn't exactly what I had intended for that, but okay. Um, so do those. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take some of those and sell them. Isn't there one of the new ones? I had one of the new crops. Maybe it's already planted. Now tell me, how does system sounds pop up when I have system sounds muted? <laughs> thousand dollars in those uh in those stars star grade apple seeds that's uh, pretty pretty crazy we'll go ahead and take those we can sell them i'm gonna hold the corn because i may need it if i <laughs> I want a corn, corn spree. Okay. Um. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna water these guys, which may be our new cabbages, and then I'm not gonna plant the rest of it for now. And then once we harvest these, we'll look at uh, rearranging our layout based on what's uh, what's effective and what's what's not. Okay. Probably off to Bihari. Try and find some uh, of the things. The. Well, I guess the spice sprouts aren't really in Bihari, they're in Kilima. That's some uh, intense hair I got there. <laughs> and of course, we're gonna go see Kenyatta. Oh no, I fell off the cliff. 
What on earth is that? It looks different. So I must bug it. It is completely common. Still. Nope. It's too close to uh Seek wisdom in the tomes. Kenyatta has been running late for her tutelage as of late. I may have to report her to her mother. There's nothing better than the smell of new books. Sundrop lilies, okay. That's uh, that's an easy one to work with. Any new She'll let me know if she gets any new books. You're not here. Dragon Tide. I can't wait till I make I can make this stuff. That stuff's pretty sweet. Moonstruck table lamp. This is always fun. Just chilling in the shop window on the bench. <laughs> it's less fun on this side because people don't really walk by. Sometimes, like this this chair here. That's better. Now I'm more properly in the chair. <laughs> I always wonder if when I see this, if, if people acknowledge me being here when they walk by, because these are actual other players, or if they don't even, if they don't even know this. You know? Oh, they notice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she definitely noticed. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> that boy's just a page who thinks he's a knight. Don't count on him if you need someone to fight. Fight for you, babe. <laughs> I'm the knight who will fight for you, babe. All through the night, you can count on me, babe. Uh. What's that? <laughs> what was I singing? It's not what it looks like. I don't like ba the Bahari boys. Their songs are just uh, really good at getting stuck in your head, okay? <laughs> A hairy millipede. See you later, Kay. All right. Uh, it's a cell, a cell, cell. You know what? You can have this bug too. Okay, hey, 100,000 gold. That's quite the accomplishment. I can sell the coin for 25 coins. It only costs like 30,000 to get one in the, uh, in the secret. Ooh, can I sell the mystery bowl? I cannot. 
Oh, you can sell the blank wish ribbons, you just can't sell them here. Yeah, interesting. Oh, but I got Heedrit. Now. Oh, yeah, that's significantly better value. It's uh, shiny now. I don't think it was shiny before. We're so close to the 25,000 we need for the backpack upgrade. I'm kind of tempted to go home and just get some more seeds until I have enough. Oh, I was going to talk to our friendly neighborhood Grimmican. Hey there, bud. If it isn't Killam's newest entrepreneur. One wish, what would it be? A really good sandwich. Nah, I'd probably go with happiness because happiness could be a result of success. It could be a result of a really good sandwich. Just guess it. I mean, if you had a really good sandwich, that would probably make you pretty happy. In fact, I kind of want to go get me a sandwich now. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and success or health. Um, so happiness. Happiness? What kind of esoteric Ormu excrement is that? Ha! You might as well have asked for a Shadvarak horn or a Glow Whale's pump. <laughs> Though, actually, if you're in the market for Glow Whale parts, I can probably be of service. Silk thread. Just don't get them tangled, huh? That's enough jabber for now. Yerky. Let's catch Niall. Wait. Oh, it was gel. I thought it was Kenyatta. Gordon and family. Um. Terrible nightmare that the village was attacked by a giant dragon and only I could save everyone. Totally unrealistic, right? Yep. Who'd believe a story about one totally normal boy from a farm tasked with saving an entire village? What is that a reference from? Is that is that Legend of Zelda? Is that what they're what they're pointing pointing fun at, poking fun at? <laughs> that seems like that's what that's that's the only thing that comes to my mind. I could use a new one. Talking to you always helps. I was hoping you could help me solve a mystery. Do you want a hundred carrots? What? <sighs> I got them for a project, but I think I need to use turnips instead. Zeki will not buy them. Maybe I just give them to the choppers around the village. Yeah, that'll... That'll... Whoa! Don't walk through there. It's a uh, geospatial time warp. I just... They just made that up. I don't know what... The, they were fancy words. Oh, there, there, is she gonna, is she gonna, nope, she's just gonna fuse with the banister. Uh -huh. A cutthroat trout. <laughs> Serial killers of the aquatic world. Best to get as many of them out of the water and behind bars as soon as possible. Don't forget, they're always watching. Ashura. Ooh, this place is uh... it's got to be my graphics settings or something because there used to be paintings and stuff on these walls unless they took them down in an update that would be a little I strange In case you didn't know already, the Maji Market is on tonight. I'll be there selling some recipes I've been cracking at for a while now. Oh, I wonder if we can get, like, unique, only available during the event recipes. Come by and visit me. Zeki likes minnows. Maybe it's a Grimalkin thing? 
Stop by again soon. Ashura has a quest for me. Good to see you again. I don't know what to say, Mr. Random. It seems like only yesterday you came to Kalima. But here you are, one of the finest foragers I've ever seen. You should be proud. I know I am. We can invite you to join the Foraging Guild. This will give you access to exclusive items in the guild store as well. Buy them with these special medallions. Keep honing your skills and participate in the weekly guild challenges and you'll have plenty of those in no time. Go on, peruse what I've got. You've earned it. Thousand rods. If every forager could, they would certainly get themselves as black. A uh, koi pond. Hey, you're a koi pond. That's so cool. That's gonna have to happen, I'm sure, eventually. <laughs> you okay? My wife and I used to party quite a bit back in our day. Ian used to have a happy hour until Sivu got a little too happy one day. Still finding pieces of copper wedged in the bar. When I go out fishing, I'm always hoping for a rainbow trout. Good old fashioned trout dinner is one of my favorite meals. You take care now. Yeah, all right. See, yeah, I didn't even jump in the water and scare away your fish. Hey there, Delilah. You're easier to catch than actually. Kilima's well-being rides on my shoulders. Tonight, the Maji Market opens its doors to welcome everyone in for the Luna New mm. Year. As the host of the event, I, of course, will be there. Mm. I expect to see your face among the crowd as well. Don't even think about missing such a momentous occasion. Some leather, mm. but I don't want to deal with Lawson. You're very kind and compassionate, like me. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say like you, but I appreciate it. <laughs> you can be rather abrasive at times. Are you having a good day? Happy Luna New Year, dearie. What can I do for you? Oh. Roger likes to have a drink at the end whenever he <laughs> drops off supplies for Ref. Can't blame him for wanting a few hours to himself, what with the farm so busy. I was craving fish stew lately. I already made him some, but he just can't get enough. So glad you settled here. Yay, it's my old buddy Badru. Brighten my day. I hope that wasn't too corny. Practicing with my old ocarina, and I was wondering, do you think Bonnie might like to play? It'd be a fun father and son thing we could do together. You shouldn't push him because he would love that. He really thinks so? I'm gonna make him an ocarina out of clay for his next birthday. That is not an easy task. 
potato soup. Also, drop some practicing my juggling. Have a great day. You're lucky being charming isn't illegal. No. <laughs> Mom's in a bad mood today. I'd steer clear. Stuffy fancy food. Cutthroat trout. Nice. Job's nice because I can study healing manuals on the side. I've been reading about how to perform an amputation lately. Just wish someone would get injured around here so I could try it out. Bad face. <laughs> I don't know if it's like like excited or if it's like panicked. Oh. Hey, I want to hold hands in my mom's office later. <laughs> so I'll see you later, right? How did you spend your day? Well, we just held hands in her mom's office. <laughs> We really need some food. Time for you to annoy me again. <laughs> yes, Squidward. It's time already for us to ruin your day. Huh. Saw so you strike a stern up the other day. Congratulations. Just be I'm sure to find good use for the horns. It takes over 50 years for a Cernuk to grow horns like that. <laughs> you wouldn't want them to go to waste. Hmm. <laughs> I think I just found a use for the horns. Antlers are becoming so popular amongst the humans, I'm having trouble keeping them in stock. Perhaps you wouldn't mind helping me refill my supply? Would be grateful. Enjoy your solitude. Pupper! Something Stop it. To discuss? No, I want to talk oh, to your pupper. Yeah, hi. Boof, 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 boof! Oh, yeah, a surprise for me. Boof, boof. <laughs> Tao proudly plops something in front of you. Some braised fish, my dear. Trick. That is oddly specific, Tao. We haven't talked to Sifu yet. Uh, I was just thinking about you. Uh -huh. Headed to the Maji Market later. Thought I'd hang out there instead of the inn. If you aren't already planning on going, you should consider it. It's not every day we have events like this, after all. Iron ore. Let's grab some drinks later. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose we can stop there on our way to over here. Let's see if we can find Tao's, uh... Stashes. I was gonna say hiding places, but that's not, uh, that's not what it is.
shot the door. Don't see any of Tao's stashes here. And a Cernak Antler. Jimmy's Prime, welcome to the stream. Thanks for lurking. Enjoy your time with the lurky turkey. He's both lurky and turkey. He's like the best of both worlds. I could launch into a uh, poor rendition of a theme song that is. Uh, Hitting. <laughs> that. Oh, the store isn't even clickable anymore. Huh. We checked that one. Still missing two of them. Upstairs, maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't think Tao would be up here, but... Uh... Valiant effort, but I don't know if it's going to pay off. I'm almost 100% certain if it wasn't in Ashley's room, it's not going to be in Miata's room.
wrong way. There we go. I still do not know. There's one. Not sure. Where that last one might be. Got it.
What do you need? Oh. You need to talk about Tao. Mm. What is it this time? Tao's not done nothing wrong. Um. So he was hiding antlers in their estate? <laughs> That's hardly trash. Why would you call their estate trash? <laughs> it's obviously not what they were referencing, but some of these are in very good condition, too. They must have been shed recently. Mm. I just should be grateful for the gift. These antlers have many uses. Ground up, they can even be made into a healing poultice. Don't know what Tal is thinking, but if he's leaving these around the mayor's estate, there's a reason for it. I know it. Oh, you didn't want antlers? I thought you wanted antlers. Keep an eye out for any pesky coffee. Ah, you want fancy antlers. I see how it is. Are she in the place? Nope, she is still here. a magistrate's time is a serious offense. I think I got him off. You may keep whatever treasures that beast has been has stashed around my house. Here's some additional payment for a job well done. Thank you for the money. You're very kind and compassionate. Uh, notice how I awed over her uh, self-gratifying state of wow. I didn't realize there were two moons. Um, there's a person at my house. There's a person at my house. Oof. Um, we need to go to the market. And then we need to go to the, the party bay and then we need to get in the house. So, back across the other way, across the limo we go. Looking for a market, but we don't have any snow. The Maji Market's this way. Is that the place to be? Follow to the market, and the magic you will see. I think this is new. Or maybe it just looks different because my textures are basically turned off. How do you get lucky envelopes? You play lucky prizes. That was somebody put it in there. On screen or in game chat asking about lucky envelopes. Turned on the heater because it was a little chilly in here in the studio. <laughs> and I think it just made it worse. <laughs> It'll take a minute for it to warm up, but you kick it up a few more degrees to try and encourage it. Yeah. It'll be good. Probably. If not, I can open the door here and get some ventilation that way. Uh, Najima has something she wants to tell me. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Kurhu, welcome to the stream. Thanks for claiming that first award and checking in. Welcome, welcome. It's kind of nice seeing more people around here. 
<laughs> that goes for in Kalima and here on the stream. Welcome. Timing is very good on that. That Choppa Chase game looks fun. I don't know if I'd be fast enough to catch any of them, but it'd be nice to try anyway. You know who would be good at it, though? Ani. All he does is run around all day. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen him catch anything. Dad's looking for some fur. I happen to have the boots with the fur. <laughs> the goal. <laughs> Interpret this dream, please. I could try, but I don't know if I'd be any good. Well, the, the first thing I thought of when I heard exploding stars was a, a star shower. Oh, or maybe fireworks. Do those look like exploding stars, don't they? As for lava, definitely something hot and bubbly. Maybe a hot spring? Oh, maybe the dream is about soaking in a hot spring while watching falling stars. Not really sure what soggy paper has to do with anything, though. Okay. Well, I guess I figured out the meaning of the stars. Hadari. Usually work alone. From Bahari to Kalima is nice. Most days. Too bad today, most days. Zeki's prize wheel earlier won a bunch of tickets and gave him all the Najima. I have a feeling she's going to be spending most of it on sweets and those Chapa pillows, which we need to check and see what pillows we have. Extra copper for sports in the mine. How about, instead, some fur? As you know, fur is the only proper material to make a rug out of. C-flap on his ear. Oh, in the, the emotes popped up over top of things. I gotcha. Oh, no, you're talking about this one up here. I gotcha. <laughs> Yep, right there. Okay. I didn't even uh, think about where those were placed. Um, hmm, Majimark fireworks. That's a lot of tickets for a dragon firework. Um, Reth. Nothing better than a meal made by Chef Reth himself. <laughs> am I right or am I right? Kind of surprised I have a booth at the market. I mean, my booth was a smash success the first time around, but I wasn't expecting Eshe to personally invite me back. <laughs> she must have really liked that ice cream mochi I had you give her last year, huh? Well, hi, Tish. <laughs> Oh, Choppa Chase is starting. Interpret this dream quickly. I'm an expert at dream interpretations. Whoa. Exploding stars, boiling lava, and soggy paper? Sounds like a fun time. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. That sounds like a pretty crazy dream. What they say, what you see in your dreams are things you desire. Don't know why anyone would want all of those things, though. Unless... <laughs> Things aren't as they seem. Maybe we're looking at things upside down. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's see, exploding stars. Oh, maybe fireworks? Whoa. Boiling lava? Uh, a pot of my delicious lettuce soup. Or, or hot pot. Uh. Soggy paper. This one's got me stumped, not gonna lie. You could try asking around about that. Uh. Shakashuka? Classified, but don't look in the back room. It looks like a crime scene. I'll cool. See you around. Cool story, bro. Um, I gotta go find some Chiapas. Gotcha. Chapa. <laughs> wow, a 
33. <laughs> I thought for sure she was going to pick that one up, but she went for the other one. Here. I still hear more of them in the, uh, in the wall, I think. But as long as they keep showing up here, I'll keep taking the ones that are accessible. I just pulled choppers out of the cliff. I love that I figured out how to get these choppers here. Break a hundred. Come on, guys. Three more. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. We were so close. We were so close. That was awesome. Sweet. That was top four. It's, it's fun because there's a uh, a spot in here where I think I think they spawn inside the cliff or maybe they just manage to run inside the cliff either way it's uh, this stuff I want to talk to Kenyatta about the soggy paper want to make out in my mom's office sure why not <laughs> have you ever seen a fairy mantis up close one of my favorite bugs elegant and cool plus they have knife hands chat with Kenyatta. Family's Luna New Year dinner was a lot more lively than usual this time around. Probably because my mom's meeting with the Duchess about the Maji market and went about, yeah, and went, what? With the Duchess about the Maji market went well and because my mom's meeting with the Duchess about the Maji market went well and she was able to get last minute funding. Mom's been in a weirdly good mood ever since. She even helped pick out bones from our braised fish instead of making my dad do it. It was kind of scary. It comes to mind when I say soggy paper. First of all, gross. Secondly, you're asking me about that again? You're lucky you're cute. Aw, thanks. <laughs> I was thinking more about that dream you told me about earlier, and I think I have it all figured out. That's awesome. I wanted to hear her take on it. Pretty sure all those images are metaphors, or at least not what they seem to be. Exploding stars could be fireworks, can't they? And boiling lava could be soup, like hot pot. <laughs> and, uh, soggy paper, that's obviously referring to the wish ribbons. Good. This dream was really just a riddle for me to have fun solving, wasn't it? If you're trying to keep me entertained, you're pretty successful at it. That's awesome. I'm glad I could make your day better, Kenyatta. You're late, am I? Oh. Yeah, I've been waiting for you to come float with me all day. I'll miss scheming with you. I'll miss you too, Kenyatta. I'm still getting uh, choppa squeaks in my ears. Maybe they're all from over there. Okay, now I need to go to Ref. To Ref? Why, why to Ref? I am back. Good to see you again. Soggy paper represents wish ribbons. 
Oh, wish ribbons. That makes a ton of sense. We got fireworks, hot pot, wish ribbons. Looks like the stream was about the Lunar New Year. Actually, you're wrong. Ah. I'm a genius. Maybe I should consider a career change and become a dream interpreter. I'll do my readings over a pot of lettuce soup. Well, you know where to find me. Talk to Zeki while he's at the Maji Market. Hey, there's a Zeki and he's at the market. Hi, Badru. Come now. Let's no, not the Ashura. Looking forward to our next talk. There's the Zeki. No, no, stop. No. Going on me, pal. stop it. Can't you see I'm busy over here? I applied to be a vendor at last year's Maji Market, but the magistrate flat out rejected me. I was down on my luck then, but the tables have turned, and just in time for Luna New Year. <laughs> These three just scoot, 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 <laughs> scoot. <laughs> Not only am I selling neat stuff, but I've also got this cool prize wheel for people to spin. The rewards are pretty sweet, if you ask me. Why don't you try your luck at winning big? Come on, you know you want to. I promise it ain't rigged. Decipher the meaning of what you saw in your dream. Really? That was quick. It only took me two weeks. <laughs> What's the exploding stars all about? Disaster waiting to strike. Um, definitely fireworks. Yeah, I guess that adds up. What about the boiling lava? What's the deal with that? It's hot pot. Hmm. I don't know. I'm... Cause I'm now I'm second guessing this, cause like I didn't think I'd have options here. It's definitely hot pot. Hot and bubbly just like lava. That explains why I smelled something good in my dream. Yes, we know what the lava means, but last but not we least, what's the soggy paper mean? Disaster, destruction, and doom. Old memories weighing you down. They're wish papers. Eh, but wish papers ain't wet. Oh, wait, technically they are, when you dip them in that super colorful dye. Ah, look at that. You painted a pretty big picture for me. I'm finally seeing how it all fits together. Just kidding, I'm even more confused than I was before. Oh, that was not the actual interpretation. Oh, that was a canned response. I don't think they actually expected you to <laughs> give him the correct response. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Mm, neither can I. Hey, don't go off script. Here's where you're supposed to say you dreamed about Luna New Year, Zeki. Yes, I've been spending so much time caught up in Luna New Year that it showed up in my dreams, too. <sighs> Everything alright? It's just this Luna New Year stuff really brings me back to the good old days. Things were simpler when I was a kitten. Kids have it so easy. I miss being <laughs> ignorance is bliss. Tell me about it. <clears throat> It was nice not having to worry about things, you know, like debt and what's to eat for dinner every night. When we were kids, our parents usually take care of all the hard and boring stuff for us. Then we get old and we're off on our own. Ah. Not gonna lie, I miss my ma, my pops too, and the rest of my stinking litter mates, even that toy hogger Zara. <laughs> Haven't seen them in a long time. You should reach out to them. I could, but I don't know if any of them would respond. It ain't because we got bad blood between us or anything, but we Grimmelkin aren't exactly known to be close to our families. Once we're weaned off our mothers, we get shipped off to start working for people. It ain't uncommon for us to incur lots of debt that we spend our whole lives trying to pay off. We're taught to be self-sufficient from a young age, so we learn not to rely on anybody but ourselves. Not our parents, our litter mates, and certainly not that Chimera Dunya. <laughs> that sounds tough. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I didn't wonder how they're all doing. My uh, family, I mean, especially my old man, if he's alive and kicking. 
My family, I mean. Especially my old man, yeah. Out of the two of them, my pops was definitely the one to spoil us. He'd take us out all the time and sneak us little presents when my ma wasn't looking. There was this one time he brought us out late at night to look at the moon. Luna, to be exact. Boy, was it a sight to behold. She was shining real bright, like a giant lucky coin in the sky. I climbed up on my pa's shoulders and tried to grab it. Almost had it in my paws till that jerk Zimmer pushed me off so she could get a better view. Did you land on your feet? <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but no. <laughs> I was young and clumsy, so I fell right onto my butt. Man, did it hurt. I may have shed a couple of tears. My pa couldn't get me to stop wailing. So he brought us all to a Luna New Year festival that was going on nearby. Yeah. And that's where I saw it. <laughs> One of the prettiest things I ever laid eyes on. A wish tree filled with colorful little lanterns and wish ribbons. The waterfall immediately stopped flowing from my eyes and I asked to sit on my old man's shoulders to get a closer look. He told me what the tradition was all about. How people make wishes in hopes Maji or someone else will fulfill them. But, like I told you before, we Grimmelkin don't believe in making wishes, except for my pa. He was never the type to follow rules. Ooh, what a troublemaker. <laughs> like you. He was a classic bad boy. <laughs> no wonder my ma fell for him. Being the rebellious cat that he was, my old man let us make wishes, as long as we promised not to tell our ma. So I made one, and I dipped it in colorful dye and everything. Got it all over my paws, but it was worth it. So what'd you wish for? To experience the Luna New Year with my family again. Well, that never happened, so I guess Maji didn't see my wish. Never say never. Maybe the time isn't right yet. Um, both of these aren't really how I'd want to respond to that, but... Um... Yeah, maybe the time isn't right yet. <laughs> It'd be a miracle if a wish like that ever came true. Singularity six, you gotta hook us up. You gotta, you gotta let us bring his family in. I don't know if that's already planned or not, but it, let's 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 see it. It's all right though. It's not like we left that festival empty-handed. Our old man bought a candy box for us all the two. I'll tell you, pal, those sweets were out of this world. It was so good that my ma forgave him for taking us out without asking her first. We all sat around the table and ate them together, like family. Hope they're all doing better out there than I am. They're probably thinking about you, too. You aren't doing too bad yourself. Um, probably this one. I hope so, too. I hope they're doing better than he is. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I am pretty unforgettable. Can't blame anybody for having me on the mind. Maybe all of them are celebrating Luna New Year too, out somewhere out there. Anyway, tell Shane I just said hi. He keeps checking in on me, and I'd hate to worry him. Feel free to tell him everything I told you while you're at it too. I ain't got anything to hide. Hey, you want silk too? <laughs> Gotta get back silk. to my thing. Silk and silk thread. Alright, um, there is no Shane here anymore, so we'll head back out. And we need to go to Bahari Bay. Oh, hiya. Hiya. Sifu and Badru, you guys are not actually here. <laughs> Just to check in on our audio, are we sounding okay? No robot voice, so we are golden.
ginger just to just spawn there while we were watching it. Probably not going to be much for the spice sprouts over here, but we're also looking for the uh, Mujin. Just like a, a night thing. I'm pretty sure they're not. It's just gonna be a matter of getting to it. where they are. Like that one. Expect that to just be a, a one off situation. Might have to cut some trees down, I guess. No. <laughs> hey, a juniper seed. Is that, uh, well, it doesn't matter now. Say, so why does that bee look, uh, different? But, Didn't get any meat at all from that one. Seafood that was looking for iron ore, right? Oh, and we got a star grade garnet. That is awesome. I think we'll go through the aqueduct. I think it's an aqueduct. It might be part of the ruins. Oh, I 
forgot to dip the ribbon. It's my wish ribbon. Still nothing. Got him. I wish I could pick up my arrows that mess. I don't know what was up with my with my aim there. It looked like I was set up. It's just a box that I missed before, but uh, it's a box.
There's more of these, uh, like little these guys. An odd Maji shrine watching over the ruins. Something clicks as you put your hand on it, and a book falls out. Yes, you notice the mix of Majiri and human ruins. I wasn't exactly going to build, going, going to build this vault myself. I've been telling the story of the greatest vault raid to ever happen. Camilla finally found the Great Vault of Grimalkus, and we just needed to get through it. I suppose this is where things can things get kind of sad. The traps on the vault, they were too dangerous to be sending the crew into. I told her not to go in. I tried to tell her we already had enough to live out our lives to old age. She pulled rank on me for the first time in years, sent me to my own brig. She took the crew in, and I don't know what happened in there. I waited one day, two days. On the third, I broke out of the brig. I had a spare key. When I came to the deck, there was no sign of them. By the seventh day on that blasted island, I finally accepted the truth. Not all vaults are meant to be pilfered. Managed to sail Yobard's Revenge back to port myself, and did some things I'm not proud of. Eventually, I put up some memorials for the crew in that garden in Kalima. I visit them every so often. Much as I'd like for you to think me a legend, I'm just a Grimalkin. And once you understand my tale, perhaps you'll have a treasure of your own. Cool. to focus on illusion. I don't know if I hit him or not, but I spooked him. Still no star gray. There's this giant door here with no indication of where it goes. Presumably a future expansion, maybe. Maybe we can actually go into uh, Bas Bahari, Bahari City. Glad you stumbled into Lilo Me. Can you believe one of your fellow humans had the nerve to ask my age? You gotta know a lady never reveals that information. <laughs> Luckily, we both know you would never make the same mistake, <laughs> don't we? Finer things in life, and nice choppa fur, so probably a spotted one. Actually, come on. I was all alone. You just want regular fur. Mm, I can't really faff around. Not sure what you were saying, but uh I have, I have things to go find.
Should be close to to being down. Oh, here. Are you ready? Hey, over here. Are you ready? Over here. There you go. Is that? Oh, that's the the tree stuff. Okay, well I tried. It's a hairy millipede! And it's a star grade one too. It looked different. Hold on. Is that a cerulean cicada? He fell off sideways. Is this is a Cerulean Cicada. Collapsed portion of the mine, perhaps? a major flow tree. Okay, it's not a major flow tree. Hoping the, uh, the hitbox was shorter. Then I could actually jump. Oh, I did. I was on top for a moment. So, what is that? Oh, it's a choppa. It's just an ordinary choppa, but the way the sun's hitting it. Um, guys, are you. Quite all right. <laughs> uh, thanks. Set up 
the flare. That means we're gonna have to wait for people. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just uh, harvesting a, a, a cernic. <laughs> Oh, I'm floating too. Look at me go. She's floating. We're all floating. We all float down here. That is trippy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, I win. I am a dork. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna hang out here with my, uh, floaty Cernak. I imagine she's probably chatting, but I don't have... Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. I actually have chat turned off, but, uh... That's awesome. Why does she run away? Oh, there's a green flare over there now, too. Are we ready? Oh, are we ready? Oh, are we ready? Are you ready? Ready, kids? I got captain. I can't hear you because I have the sh the chat turned off. Yeah. Yeah. Still floating. Uh. I was right. Oops. Um, mm, uh, great. Well. Let's, uh, let's just turn it off. I managed to get it on my heater on dry rather than on, uh, on heat. So I've literally been freezing myself. <laughs> so now I gotta let it warm back up. Or let the yeah, cause the when it runs as a as a drying function, um, it it does uh, the compressor like it's like it's air conditioning, and it just runs the air across it really slowly because as you cool the air, the water falls out of it, and that's how a dehumidifier works. Which is great, except for I can't feel my toes. <laughs> okay, this is dumb. Please, please chop it. Chop it or I'm gonna chop it. So very much waiting. So very much waiting. Get out of the tree. <laughs> I'm 
we're gonna need to cut this thing down. I don't. Good. Finally. <laughs> I just want it to be over. Hey, there was a magical Muji in it. Nice. Magical one's probably gonna give me the meat that I'm looking for. Oh, but doesn't he reset every time he gets in the tree? I think he does. There's another one. That's what, four? Maybe it's five? I don't know. In total. I think it takes three. It either takes two or three, and I have either three or four, respectively. What? Out of arrows? What that means. Time to go home. <laughs> Do I, have, I don't have any spice sprouts. Come on. Yeah, what's the closest? Uh, probably coral shrimp. Way, so I don't interfere with that uh, hunting experience going on there. So yeah, as far as the, the heater and why I don't turn it right over to heat is I don't want to... Uh, unnecessarily stress the like thermally shock the system because if you reverse it and make it start heating it right away it might get upset i don't know that it actually will but that's my speculation i know on like a thermoelectric device you don't want to you want to let it kind of equalize temperature before uh, you switch the direction of its operation 
So let's go toward the farm. Because I think there's a decent amount of stuff that way. I don't have any fish for you. All right, yeah, braised fish. Um, give me your paw. Are you being a bad boy? Ow. That whimpers at me. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything, Hassian. Don't look at me with that accusatory look on your face. Um, I know. That was some crazy lighting there in the end. I'm guessing, let's see, it's 7.40, so... She is at the library. Hi there, Hecla. This is who I was looking I'm for. Actually, glad we met. Yay. Guess I can go back to doing other stuff. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> you know, I was tempted to buy some soup. Some lettuce soup. You know, as weird as that is, I kind of want to try it. That's what, sh what we should start. A series of uh, making food items from games that we play. <laughs> the monster cake from uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It was it was awesome. Turned out great. Tasted delicious. I used artificial monster extract instead of uh, genuine monster extract for obvious reasons, you know. I can't believe I set my unit to to dry instead of heat. That's that's quite funny, really. I do not see any sprouts that are spicy. Nor do I see any that are star grade. Spire, sprouts, 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 sprouts that are spicy. They are sparts now. Hi. That is not a spicy sprout. A spicy sprout, not a spicy sprout. There are lots of things, but there's not a spicy sprout. We can't even make a single attempt on the uh, star grade. Hey, a flow tree out here. Oh, by it's lonesome. We can't even make a attempt on the the dish unless we have some star grade spice sprouts. Because we were short on them. We should have enough star grade corn. Because we got the 22 or however many. Which 
just recently. Oh, spice sprouts, where for art thou sprite sprouts? Spice sprouts not spawn in it. <laughs> Just to clarify, I'm not looking off to my side because I'm insane. <laughs> it's been a while since I've run the uh on the heater in here and it's making some funny noises. I believe it's just the standard expansion noises but as it warms up. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I definitely have it on the heater. <laughs> that delightful heater smell. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. not as bad as like the first time you burn the dust off from the stuff in the in the vents but uh, it's definitely got that that delightful heater smell oh, I can feel the warmth already it does such a good job it's a mr. cool mini split is what I've what I've got installed it myself with some some assistance from the family but uh yeah i am not an hvac technician and uh it went very well it looks so great and i was able to put two uh air handlers on the single unit i could actually put a third in there and i may um once i do some additional Renovations. <laughs> Renova re re renovations. I don't know how to words today, apparently. Perhaps, maybe. Um, I was going to spend Renown here, but I should probably hang on to it because we can buy stuff at the... at the mayor's place. Or at City Hall. It's kind of technically the mayor's place. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in the uh, lack of spice sprout spawns. I'm guessing they just don't spawn during the night. So, let's go to the market. Unless we're out to time. Yeah, we got three hours in game. That's a rock. I 
think that Cernok was uh, training to become a uh, Elder Cernok or whatever the magic deer is, are, were. Amazar was worthy being a Ben. Now that's a throwback. Come here, Shane. It's time to complete this quest, hopefully. Alright, before we do that, I'm gonna go... Hmm, prosperity was gold. Um, this is... Greenhound. And... Luck. Yay. Floaty, floaty, float. Hmm. We made five wishes. It, oh, it took them both. It floated them both. Cool. It's been a beautiful day so far. How kind of you to pay me a visit. Hmm. Nights like this remind me of the story of the Kitsu who wanted to steal the moon. It's a long one, but a cherished favorite. If you're interested, I think the library has a copy of the... Ashar's Fables version. Chop a chase. Plant trees. Samaras, as I have a particular fondness for birch trees. Do I have. Nope. Juniper seed. Okay. Zeki said hi. Did he now? Please send him my warmest uh, regards. Shane, what happened to Zeki? Doesn't surprise me that uh, Zeki shared all of that with you. I had a feeling he would open up eventually. Tell me, Phoenix's child, how did Zeki appear to be feeling at the conclusion of your conversation? Um... Definitely sentimental, but he was also kind of seemed to be feeling good. I wonder if this is the expected response or if the first one's just gray like that because we've had that several times on like what the correct, so to speak, answer was. Sentimental. <laughs> Zeki may wear a playful and lighthearted counten count count countenance most of the time. But I worry that it is simply disguised for his true feelings. He's never been one to wear his heart on his sleeve, especially when it comes to matters that are dear to him. Is there something we can do for him? You have done more than enough for Zeki, Phoenix's child. It's time for the rest of us to remind him that he is as valued a member of a community, of our community, as you and I. He cherishes the memory of enjoying a candy box with his family. Perhaps we can gift him one and fill it with kind messages from everyone here at the Maji Market. I just so happen to have one here that I have yet to open. All that is missing are kind messages from everyone at the market. Do you do the honor of collecting those, Phoenix's child? Of course. Kindness continues to warm my heart. Record all messages here in this journal. Bring it back to me when you are finished and I will handle the rest. Please do not tell Zeki about this. Some gifts are better meant as surprises. May the dragon be with you. I need a chopper. Get to the chopper. Hey, there's trees over here this time. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I just ran into a chopper. Yes. More choppers. Emotional wreck. <laughs> uh, he wasn't too bad. He was definitely missing his family, but uh, all in all. 
he's, he's doing okay. He might be after we give him the, uh, the candy, though. Yes, there we go. I can manifest as choppas in this in this wall here, and I love it. Got him. Gotcha. <laughs> So close to 100 again. Rough. Okay. I need a kind message. Actually, glad we met. You're just gonna stand there staring at me, or you have something to say? Well, I have something to say. I really did outdid myself with the wish I made this year. It's just so me. Oh. Be nice if it came true, though. Make for an interesting story to tell next Lunar New Year. Spotted Mantis, I think so. Oh. Your back couldn't resist me? I never can. Good. Not that I was worried or anything. Zeki's cool, and he gets on my mom's nerves. That's a plus in my books. Alright, I did my part. I'll miss scheming with you. Thanks for your contributions. Genley! I do so enjoy our little distractions. Oh, I'm quite fond of surprises, and I'm quite fond of Zeki as well. I'd be delighted to write a kind message for him. Where should I start? Oh. Perhaps with dear Zeki. That sound a bit stiff. Takes a sweet time writing a message for Zeki, mumbling to himself the whole time. <laughs> This'll do. I hope he can read my handwriting. Writing was never my strong suit. Are you sure there's nothing else you need? Yep, that pretty much sums it up. Eshe. I bet that one's gonna be entertaining. I'm gonna stand on the hot button. Oh, it blocked me. I'm quite glad to see you. Ugh. You want me to contribute to this little surprise of yours? Can't you see I'm busy? Uh, well, I suppose Zeki does contribute something of value to this village. Without him, Kalima's economy would be... <laughs> Hand me the notebook already, won't you? I can't afford to waste any more time chit-chatting with you. There, I've written something. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got business to get back to. I must go back to cleaning up I have half an in-game hour to... Get the rest of these. Uh, I usually work alone. Yeah. Ain't bad company. Bails me out when Kinley and Badru start tugging my ear off at the end. It's nice to nod you. Guess I can write something nice for you. Anyways. Okay. Hey Always there, Delilah. To see a friend. Ah. How sweet. I'd love to help you and Shane with your surprise. Not a lot of people know this, but Zeki's a real sweetheart. Just the other day, he helped me carry all my groceries home from the general store. Once in a while, he even gives me something fun to surprise on him. Ah. There, done. It was hard writing a short message, considering there are so many good things I can say about Zeki. Hope it makes Don't him smile. Stranger, no. That's that's cute. You came all the way here. Yep. Yes. I don't run into Zeki that often, but whenever I do, he's always really nice to me. Sometimes gives me cool gifts too. Least I could do is write a nice message, thanking him for everything. I wouldn't blame you if you don't come by later. It's all right. I'll come by later. I'm sure. Probably. Perhaps. No message from Tish, though. I see that. What can I do you for? Whoa. Hmm. Nice of you and Shane to do. I don't know how much I can help, considering we aren't close or anything. Makes the end pretty lively in the evenings, though. He's always got jokes to crack and stories to tell. It's hard imagining that scene without him. Don't tell him I said that, though. Huh? <laughs> there. I wrote something. Hopefully I that works. For mysterious reasons. Okay. I gotta nice talk to, to visit. Reth again. Uh, Oh, never mind. I got my hands full right now. Oh, I can. I've sufficiently filled the uh, the journal, so I can give it back to Shane. Beautiful day, is it not? I collected a lot of nice messages for Zeki. Oh. So you did. Thank you kindly for your contributions, Phoenix's child. May I have the journal? No. No. <laughs> Briefly skims over the messages and begins to neatly tear them out of the journal. He folds each, me each message, tucks them into the candy box. Oh. oh, I mustn't forget to include the message I wrote for him, too. Oh. 
There. Now the candy box is ready to be gifted to him. Would you like to do the honors of giving him this surprise, Phoenix's child? Who else could do it but me? It would be my pleasure. There's no better time than the present to show Zeki how much we appreciate him. We'll be watching from afar. I cannot wait to see how he reacts. May the dragon be with you always. Is Zeki still here? He is still here. Um, quest items. Candy box filled with mouth-watering sweets and kind messages for Zeki. The perfect Luna New Year's surprise. Oh good, somebody's talking to him. Wow. It isn't Killam's newest entrepreneur. Got something interesting to tell me? I do. Surprise! Huh? For me? Oh, a candy box. Just like the one I had with my family. Thanks, pal. Open it up. Right now? Uh, okay. Yeah. There is a bunch of candy. Oh, what's this? Unfolds one of the messages. Happy Luna New Year, Zeki. Thanks for always giving my mom a hard time. Kenyatta. Aww. <laughs> You're welcome, Kenyatta. Anytime, anytime. Read another one. There's more? Okay, let me see. What about this one? Zeki, I hope the Luna New Year's treating you as well as you treat me and my family. I can't thank you enough for all of our fun chats at the general store. You always brighten up my day. Love, Delilah. Aw, shucks. Didn't know you felt that way about me, Delilah. <sighs> All right, but this is the last one. If you want me to keep reading for you, you're going to need to rent out the library for a reading day. Dear Zeki, I cannot begin to thank you enough for all the joy you bring to our village. Every conversation we have, no matter how fleeting, brings a smile to my face. You make Kalima feel like home. It is a blessing to have you here, Shane. That's awesome. Huh? Oh man, here comes the waterfall. Let the tears fall. No way. What if I end up flooding the whole place? <laughs> Sniffle. You really got me with this, pal. This was all you're doing? Shane and I worked together on this. I should have figured Shane had a hand in this. I didn't expect everyone would come together like this, just for old me. I guess I really am part of the Kalima family, huh? You always are. Yeah. You're right. I've been so wrapped up in old memories that I didn't realize I was already making new ones with my family here in Kalima. Back then, I wished to celebrate the Luna, Luna New Year again with my family. I guess it really did come true after all, huh? Hmm. Say... Can I ask you for a favor, pal? I want you to give this to Shane to hang on the wish tree for me. It's my wish for the coming year. I'd hang it up myself, but I've got a stall to run. My old man once told me that wishes are really promises you make to yourself. And you know what? It's okay, it's okay to make those once in a while. And thank you and Shane for everything, pal. Happy Luna New Year. Have I mentioned how great Delilah is? She's the greatest pally and I know. While we were setting up our booths for the day, she swung by with a box of Luna New Year sweets just for me. Obviously, I gobbled them right up and sent her off with a bag of goodies from my booth too. Make sure to stop by her booth and buy her stuff, alright? She deserves all the best. That's really cool. Uh... Subir has been poking around my shop. That's cool because we haven't met Subir yet. I've all in the potato seeds I got for sale. I think she's craving some potatoes. I'll see you soon, all right? All right. Bring Zeki's wish paper to Shane while he's at the market. Unfortunately, that's going to have to wait until next time because we are past our time for today. So, um, let's go back to the house. We'll offload our stuff. And uh, see who's waiting for us. Tao is here. Paparuni. Bark. Another present. I hope it's more explosives. Hawu. Another slightly chewed package. 
thanks. It's more explosives. <laughs> The rest of them are in here. Fireworks in there. This stuff. Ooh, the, the shiny bug goes in here. And actually, the shiny main goes in there too. Sweet leaf. Uh, silk thread. Somebody needed or wanted that. And throw the seed in there. Stone. It goes in there. I guess this is just ordinary items. We do need to make arrows and stuff again. Zeki's wish. Ooh, we can read it. Zeki's Luna New Year wish it reads: I wish to celebrate the Luna New Year with my family again, whether from Kalima or beyond. Who knows what surprises next year has for lucky old Zeki? That's that's awesome. <laughs> okay, and now. We have some news. These are actually the uh, drops from Twitch, I believe. If you play Palia yourself and you watch copious amounts of uh, people playing Palia on Twitch, you can receive Twitch drops. Um, and we have bok choy seeds, which is awesome because I will plant those. Um, but probably not right now. We are so close, three thousand. Um, probably by next time we will, we'll be able to get that backpack upgrade. So that is going to wrap up our time for today. If you're watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at Twitch.tv/unexpectedlyrandom. We are here every day at roughly 7 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you follow us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. Those are the best places to stay up to date with any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. And we have a TikTok and the social media platform formerly known as Twitter if you want to check us out over there. Otherwise, if you're enjoying the content there on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot and it lets us know what content you guys are enjoying. That's everything I have for you today. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Until then... Stay random. <laughs>